outro cast. Besides having to talk to me, how is your day going? <laughs> awesome so far. Well, Don't it's ruin it. okay. Uh, fingers crossed. No pressure, but <laughs> cosmic love. It's happened. How long did you have to keep it a secret for? I don't know who is the answerer of that question. God. Oh God, it's been about a year, year. Yeah, a year, um, over a year. Uh huh. It's been and a long, it's a great time. <laughs> great, great team behind this show. Top producers and and a showrunner who's produced so many shows that we all watch. Who was the gateway to this whole thing happening? Well, you know, it we did come up with the concept of doing a show. We came to a production company in New York, and then, you know, it became a very collaborative collaborative experience with Prime Video. So it was all, you know, we brought in the astrology, but they had the expertise on how to really bring it to life in, you know, Hudson Media and Prime Video and how to actually you know, make it interesting for someone who doesn't know anything about astrology even to watch and open up and learn and explore. Another wonderful thing about this show is the person doing the voiceover, Cree Summer. That's an artist that I was a fan of as a singer and she's great on better things. When did Cree come into the equation of the show? She came in in uh, the post-production when they wanted to add sort of a, an extra mystical layer to the astro chamber. Did you know that Cree was the voice of Penny on Inspector Gadget at the time that you cast her? We knew her as Freddie on A Different World, which we watched back in the 90s, so yeah. <laughs> Got it. You know the people you're working with. Yes. <laughs> yes. So to kind of recap, we, we learned that, you know, the show was about a year in the making. Did you know outright how many episodes there was going to be? Nope, we didn't. Uh, that was crafted as, you know, it was... No, I don't think we did right yeah. off the bat. No. So it happened. A lot of people say, hey, I'm going to have a show. It doesn't happen. So that's yet another wonderful accomplishment in your career. Uh, how far ahead do you two look in your career? In other words, is this all organic or is this like a master game plan that only you two know? <laughs> I mean, we're astrologers. We could tell you what's going to happen when we retire at this point. But <laughs> and actually, you know, the show happened at a, actually a very timely moment for us astrologically um, where there were planets that were in the part of our chart that ruled TV sure. and media. So it was, you know, but you never know what's going to happen. But. You can but say, yeah, we, hey, look at that. It yeah, worked at this moment. We thought it was a great natural next step because more and more media is moving to the screen with phones and TikTok and Twitch and all of these things becoming popular. So we thought it was a great time to look at how we could gamify astrology and make it experiential in the Web3 Doing world. It. Yeah, people are really wanting to be... You know, it's not just a one-way one conversation. It's like people want to be part of the whole experience all the way through. So we're very much into, like, watching how technology develops as well. It's become, you know, a sister of television now with streaming and everything. So we're all about evolving with the times and the formats and bringing it all together. Well, down to the last two quick questions here before I let you go. The first one... What is the second best show on Amazon besides Cosmic Love? <laughs> um, Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, I'm going to say Mrs. Maisel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I got for you is, as people who went to the University of Michigan, is Zingerman's really the best deli out there, or is that Hell a yes. myth? Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely not a myth. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you know anyone. Did you, you go, go to U of M, too? I haven't had the pleasure, but when I went to the Circa Casino in Vegas, they have a different deli than Zingerman's out there, but Zingerman's coffee. So I didn't know what the deal was. Oh my oh God. My, you should it's... order the corned beef delivered. It'll come in a fresh pack. All with some right to your olive door. Oil. Yeah. Get the pickles. Worth, worth <laughs> it. 100%. Now I know. Well, congratulations on your continued success and looking forward to whatever is next. Hopefully, another season of Cosmic Love. Yes. yes, thank you. <laughs> Outro cast.